I'm going to tell you a story that you maybe heard before, but only in bits and pieces. This is a story I've touted for some eight years. It's an absolutely horrific story, and that's why I was confused and dismayed by the fact that not one major media outlet has taken it up, looked into it, investigated, or even reported it. I found that strange. I found that worrisome. This is a story about a 13-year-old child named Katie Johnson. That's not her real name, and she is currently an adult. Back in 2016, prior to the election, where Donald Trump won the presidency, she, she filed a lawsuit. Donald Trump's co-defendant in this lawsuit was Jeffrey Epstein. And in this lawsuit, she accused Donald Trump of raping her when she was 13 years old. The details of the event are in that document. And there's no confusion here. The document is readily available online. You can see the lawsuit. You can see the defendants, Trump and Jeffrey Epstein, and you can read the details of this horrific event. So it's real. It's there. So that lawsuit was coming out prior to the election, and then all of a sudden, it disappeared. It's gone. Nowhere to be found. At that time, I said, well, I'm guessing that Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein threatened her. And a lot of people said to me, that's crazy. Well, now, eight years later, knowing what we know of Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein, does it really sound crazy? You've got a woman going to blow up your election for the presidency and the idea that Donald Trump might threaten somebody to stop it? That seems very plausible at this point. Now, the reason I bring up that story, it's an old story, is because I think there's some new relevance to that story. We heard about this document dump in Florida coming from the grand jury hearing for Jeffrey Epstein some 16 years ago. There's 200 pages, and surprise, surprise, Donald Trump's name pops up all over the fucking place in those documents. In fact, there is some call logs, and one of those um, messages from Donald Trump was, hey, I just want to verify my date for my massage. You see what I mean here? Donald Trump claimed he never knew Jeffrey Epstein, but these documents say otherwise. They say they were buddies and they were close. They reacted and interacted many times over and over again. It might even suggest that Donald Trump was involved in some of the same crimes that Jeffrey Epstein was involved in, and we know he was involved in those crimes. That has been proven. He is probably one of the most prolific pedophiles in the history of this country, and we know Donald Trump liked him, was friends with him, and visited him frequently. That's what we know. So now that we know this, doesn't that make the Katie Johnson story a little more relevant? Isn't that more important? Isn't that more earth-shattering to investigate rather than Joe Biden being tired at a debate? Why aren't people talking about that? That's the big story. That's the crazy story. And if the mainstream media won't talk about it, I'll fucking talk about it. We all should talk about it over and over again, just like the Republicans do with their issues.